Hey friend, my office is a mess and I want to do something about it. And maybe from distance it looks okay, but believe me, when you sit at desk it is not. I have PC here and that monitor is just for PC and I'm using it when I'm streaming only, when I'm programming, I don't really need it. And uh, yeah, I could manage all with one keyboard and mouse, but that is not convenient. Then I have two of them and that is a mess on the desk. The main problem is cables, cables everywhere. And if you have two monitors, PC, laptop, you have shitload cables connected to the laptop. Here is one, two, three, four. Yeah, that is where my camera usually is when I'm streaming. Dummy battery, cable for camera, external drives. So yeah, I don't like all that mess, but I like how this device works and could be nice to talk a little bit more about that, but let's unplug it to show all the ports. I could handle those cables better with existing setup, but that means I still have that PC and secondary monitor next to me even if I'm not working and that kind of distracts me. I would like to have clean and nice looking setup and I'm missing this standing desk in my day-to-day -day use. I'm not using it too often. That is kind of dedicated writing desk, but I'm writing here at most one hour in a day. It doesn't make sense to have empty desk for that. And it is not empty actually, it is loaded with, uh, with cups. I have even here motorcycle helmet, which is waiting spring here, so it doesn't make sense to have it. Drone batteries, I don't know, random stuff which should not be here. What this device doing? I have connected my this fancy schmancy microphone to the laptop and also I have connected camera. So this is microphone connector. This is USB connector to connect it to my laptop. And this is HDMI connector, HDMI in, which is connected to the camera right now, but I can connect it to the console or other computer and capture screen. Basically that is HDMI pass through port. You can send signal in, capture it here and send out. Basically whichever first device will be connected to this card that will be able to capture the picture from the from HDMI device. <laughs> so what is needed for video conference, like this one, for example, this could be video conference or something, Zoom, meeting call, what else not. So I have my laptop right here. So, and yeah, we may have this kind of discussion in Zoom looking like that, or that can be used for streaming. And then I can connect second PC here and then also capture microphone from it and kind of send that signal somewhere else for example to the discord or yeah to the stream and use the same microphone with two computers at the same time that's kind of amazing besides that you have sound effects you can modify your voice you can, can use different voice modifiers you can turn camera on off i paid something like 300 plus 300 40 euros for it. Full price is something like 400, but you can find those discounted already. If you will buy good video capture card, that will cost you at least 100 bucks. Audio capture card separately for this microphone only, that's another 100 bucks. At the end of the day, I think that is not too pricey to have all in one device, so less cables. You have also those media buttons, you have do additional programming for those, so I think that's kind of makes sense to get one. iPad is here, not really needed, but headphones going wireless, <laughs> all these cables, I hate those cables. Keyboard, also wireless, wireless mouse, I will charge them when that will be needed. I'm not competitive gamer, I, I do not care about lag. So audio interface probably is going here, I have my microphone connected to the laptop, actually to the screen, just one cable is going now into the laptop connected to the Apple Studio display 
and Apple Studio display has all the connections here basically that works like hub should work for camera connection as well so and yeah camera stand for calls and what else not so let me know what do you think about this setup yeah uh, for sure kind of more monitors gives you more likes on Instagram and all that stuff and it is kind of more handy when you doing live streaming but sometimes I even using just laptop only and working on that to have better focus and all that stuff for streaming dual monitor setup or even three or four monitor setup is better but i'm not getting paid to stream you know and uh, my mind kind of revenue is freelancing and in the app development so for those for those tasks i need clear setup clear mind We'll see how long this lasts, but currently I think that is the best setup for me for mental health because that multi-monitor setup was kind of cool but felt a little bit way, I will say not a little bit, way too cluttered and I want to have something clear and simple. We'll see <laughs> how long I will stick with that. I think maybe until spring, because when spring and summer will come back, that window will be way too bright to sit on front of it. Now it is October, it is quite darkish already and it will become only darker, so for at least few months I am good. Okay, let me know what you think about that setup, is it cool or not cool at all? And yeah, and then you, if you say that's not cool, you will like make me sad, but unlikely I'm going back to that multi-screen setup monster. And yeah, obviously we have another problem to solve here. I need to do something with my gaming setup. I'm not playing games often, but yeah, it doesn't make sense to have mess here and Maybe I will use that setup for streaming as well. Definitely I will use it for gaming. Maybe I need better gaming monitor because this 24 inch 5, no, 24 inch 4K monitor is more than 6 or even 7 years old. I bought it when I started my freelancing career. So it's kind of memories from my early days. I'm not throwing it out, but it's definitely not the best monitor for gaming, so I need to research what I should get instead. Okay, thank you for watching guys, see you on next one, bye.